Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Saturday and welcome to day eight of Vlogtober. So right now we're going to do a little get ready with me. My husband and I, we are going out with my neighbor for her birthday. So we're going to go to a winery um, and have a little drinks before we go out to dinner. We're going to go to uh, Fat Rosie's for dinner. And then from there, I don't know, the night is young, whatever else she has planned. So right now I'm going to do start getting ready we'll finish getting ready i already showered um i went and got a facial today in case everybody noticed that the skin is glowing yes so i went and got a facial today and uh, what else have i been doing today editing so i got up this morning and edited two videos and posted two videos so now i just have one video to edit which is today's for me to post tomorrow and then you know I'm on schedule. I'm on track. I'm so proud of myself. I, I, I mean, I'm just very, very proud of how consistent I have been um, at vlogging, editing, and posting. So just, just very happy. So what else did we do today? Oh, I went and got me something to wear. I went to Express to find me something to wear because none of my clothes fit anymore. Um... I need. I wear a small now and a size four in jeans, and no, nothing fits me anymore. My old clothes were like size twelves, size ten, so nothing fits. So I, every time we go somewhere, I literally always have to go and find me something to wear um, because none of my going out clothes fit anymore. And you know, I would like to think that I could just sit and order a bunch of stuff in preparation for going out, but I don't really. You know care for going out i'm a homebody i really like being at home i pay a lot for my home so i like to let to be here and enjoy what i am paying for so yeah I'm, i mean that's why i don't like buy going out clothes in advance because who knows when i'm gonna go out because i like staying in the house um what else did i do i don't get my neighbor a birthday gift um and that was too, I didn't really know what to get her. I always give her wine, but I wanted to do something different this year. I was going to get her some perfume, but I've known her since 2008. I've never spilled her with perfume on. So I ended up getting her a piece of jewelry, something that she can, you know, wear and have for, um, you know, a long time. So that's what I ended up getting her. And then what else? That's pretty much it. That's all I did today. So pretty, you know, chill day. Um, but yeah, now we're going to get ready um, for our evening. So first I'm going to do my hair. So what I do for my hair, since I have braids, and in the braids there is curly hair in the braids, and then I have curly hair at the ends of the braids. So what I'm going to do is I split it in half, and then I water it. Ooh, that's hot. Then I put some water and um, I use like a bunch of different products. Don't ask me why. I'm sure I could probably just use one. But I use multiple. I don't know why. Um, I just do. So first I go in with my uh, Shea Moisture Coconut Smoothing Hibiscus. What is it? Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curling Curl Enhancing Smoothie. So I go in with that first. And make sure we get it all throughout the hair. Okay, back to my shopping adventure today. Why is Express so expensive? Like, I, I don't understand. Why is they not... A, a name brand I mean it's just like a, a regular clothing store why do they have to be so expensive they had a coat in there because I need a new coat the coat was $398 like a little pea coat a black pea coat $398 I say uh, Express who you think you is for $398 for a coat <laughs> It's not a name brand coat, it's just an express coat. So then they had another coat that I was looking at. It was like a grayish pea coat. 
that was two hundred ninety eight dollars. I'll forget. I could go to Macy's and get a better coat cheaper than that. So that's what I'm end up doing. I'm gonna go to Macy's and get me a peak coat. Oh, and now I'm going in with the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Cream, Defining Cream. So now I'm going in with that, and then you know, water it again. Yes, I couldn't believe that they want that much for a coat. Now they do have a sale going on. I'm not sure if the coat was on sale. Um, I think that they had like 30% 30, 30 off in the store. And again, I didn't check to see what the coat on sale because I'm sorry, but I still can't see myself paying even with 30% the price of that coat. So yeah, wasn't even worth me checking to see how much it was on sale. So, and then my husband, he found him something to wear for the wedding. Okay, now I'm going to do my The Do mousse. So, yep, so now I'm going to put this on. Um, but he bought, found him something to wear for the wedding. He got him a suit from Express. And then he got him, like, some, some, look, like some pants and a shirt, like, just to have to go out. That was expensive. I had to ask the lady, uh, ma'am, do you got a coupon back there that we could use, please? Uh please and thank you so they gave me a coupon um but yeah I I express is expensive i i just i i don't know why why they gotta be so so expensive all right now i'm going back in with some water and normally i try to do this like the night before we go somewhere but we, I didn't do it yesterday because my son's football game. But I normally try to do it the night before we go somewhere because then I braid it. And then I put a rod at the end so it's extra curly. But it doesn't matter. I'm going to get this redone anyway next week. Alright, and then I'm going to do the Cantu Shea Butter Mousse next. Again, don't ask me why I use multiple products. I don't know. I just do. But yeah. So I'm going to get my hair redone next week. I'm going to get the same exact style because I love this style. I love how it's like different from just regular braids because it has the curls in the braid and then it has the curls at the end. The hair that I got to put in the braid is human hair. Uh, I ordered it off of Amazon. And when I ordered it, I had only ordered one bundle um, initially. I didn't know how much hair it was going to be in the actual, you know, pack. So I just ordered one bundle. Now I know I need two. So next time, so when I go get it done next week, I'm going to have two bundles of curly hair so that I can have more curly hair in the actual braid. So, all right, and now I'm doing the other side. And then again, with the same product. Man, that facial I had today was so good. I really needed that. My skin, it, it, oh man, I really needed it. So, and she gave me their uh, trying this new uh, skin cleanser what is it what did it have in it I don't remember but they're trying a new skin cleanser and she gave me a sample of it to try I guess they're just testing it out to see if people like it so I'm gonna try it and see uh, what was it like some type of correcting um, cleanser you know what I'm not gonna lie to y'all I don't remember what she said all she said was it was a new skin cleanser that they trying out, thinking um, to see if they want to sell it in the spa. So I'm going to try it out and see and let her know what I think about it. All right. But yeah, my skin feels so good. Oh man, I really, really needed that. So I'm going to be more consistent in going and getting a facial now. Before, I, I mean, I just haven't really been consistent in going 
to get one because you know we always tend to put ourselves on the back burner i mean i do my other stuff like my lashes and stuff like that you you know but a facial is just as important as getting your lashes and your eyebrows your nails and your hair done so yeah so i'm going to start going every six weeks um for my facial because i'm telling you my skin man it is it just looks so good it's glowing it it feels so 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 refreshed and um rejuvenated man i really really needed it Another thing too, I need to be more diligent and consistent with moisturizing my skin. I am not consistent with that. Like I wash my face every day. I don't know why I can't follow through and do the last part, which is moisturize. I don't know why I have a problem with that. I don't know what my issue is. See, this is why I really wish that I had to do this yesterday because when I braid it, I don't know, I'm not tall enough for you to really see with the camera, but when I braid it, it's more waves and curly, and then when I put the rod on it, it's curlier at the end. So I hate that I didn't do this yesterday. I should have did it yesterday and went to the game with two braids. That's what I should have did, but whatever. And I was too tired to do it when I came back home. I was yawning at the game. Man, I was sitting, because we, we have the little, you know, stadium seats. I had my blanket on. I had my big coat on. I had my earmuffs on. I had my Uggs on. And I was leaning back, falling asleep almost at the game. The, my son, and they won. It was 40, was it 41 to 7 or 45 to 7, something like that. So now they are 6 and 1. But yeah, I was falling asleep at the game. So I was tired. So I didn't feel like doing it. Um, but I should have did it yesterday before. I could have even did it before I went and um, got me something to eat. But I didn't. Oh well. Nothing I can do about it now. We're just going to have to just gonna have to work. I'm going to have a mess to clean up. I don't really got time to clean up my counter before we leave. All right. All right, so now that the hair is almost done, well, the last step I spray so that I can slick my hairs down and then try to slick my baby hairs down. I don't know nothing about baby hair, so I be trying. I mean, it, it, it look all right to me, well, but I don't really, I'm not really good at doing baby hairs, but I'm gonna attempt it again. So I use the Kenra, what is this volume spray it's like a super hold super hold finishing spray so i use this at the end to kind of slip my hair down and then i put a scarf on to so that the hold can stay and then for my baby hairs whew. And then, too, I got the moisturizer already on, so I'm trying not to get my face so, so wet because I already got moisturizer on. So I don't need to put no moisturizer on before I do my, my face. Okay. And I'm rushing because we're running behind. And, yeah. I, I left my phone in my room. I wonder what time it is. So I just sprayed the... Because this Kenra, it, it, it's a really good holding spray. So I use that to try to do my baby hairs. Maybe that's why I can't do good baby hairs. Because I ain't using no actual, like, gel product. I don't know. But whatever. We're going to have to make this work. And when I say this stuff, it, it hold, ooh, it hold, it's the, I ain't even did nothing. And this thing is all sticky. Mm. It's gonna have to be what it be. I don't know. Mm. I'm gonna have to wash me a baby hair tutorial. It can't be this hard to do my baby hair. I'm 
Oops, or somebody got a tutorial for me to watch. If everything is on YouTube, it really can't be this hard. Yep, this time it's going to look right. I don't know. Let me see. How can I fix this? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Look Really, Yolanda, it shouldn't be this hard. Like, come on now, get it together. Okay, this is as good as it's gonna get right now. Because, yeah, I don't have time to be, to be playing with it. Okay. And I'm gonna spray some more holding spray. Because I feel like I need it. Brush it right here up at the top. Where I got this new, new grow. I'm gonna put my scarf on so that it can, you know, kind of dry and sit while I do something to this face. First, for what I'm doing to the face, I'm not really a huge makeup person. I don't really wear a lot of makeup, so this is like the no makeup makeup look, right? however you want to call it so I do very very minimum to my face I really just do it because I don't like how dark my under eyes are so <clears throat> that's why I really do something to my face so what I have is the Laura Mercier secret camouflage brighten and correct duo so I have this so one side is a brighten and illuminator and one side is a color um, camouflage so what I generally do is where's my brush so i have my ulta flat concealer number 30 brush so i go in with the um correct camouflage first under the eye So I start out with the flat brush and move it around. Okay. And then and again, this is just what I do. I am by no means a makeup artist, a makeup expert, uh, and by no means. Okay. And then I take this little, I don't know, I got this e.l.f. eye contour brush. I don't know, can you see that? Yep, I got this. I got this from Target. So then what I do is I generally push her more and go across the eyes a little bit more to really kind of like blend it in yeah. Okay, so that's enough for the camouflage. And then I come through with the Brighten Illuminator. 
I use the same e.l.f. contour brush. Now, yeah, I just blend that in. This is really like a very rushed job today because I don't even know what time it is, but I know I'm running behind. I'm running very behind. All right, the next thing I use is my Laura Mercier Translucent Medium Deep Setting Power. Pow oh my God, power. Powder. And then I use my Ulta of precision foundation number 12 brush and then I just kind of go across the face with a little foundation that all right and then I'm just gonna work on blending it in Okay, that is that. I mean, like, it really, like, I like it because I, I know I have some stuff on my face, but, like, you really can't tell. Like, I really still, like, kind of, like, look the same. Yeah. And then the last thing I do is I have my um, NARS uh, Laguna, like, a little bronzer. So, and then I take my... Um, Ulta 31 Bluffing uh, brush, and then I know it's a concealer brush, brush, but again, I mean, you can pretty much use a brush, I'm sure, for whatever you want, but I go on ahead and put this, a little bit of this on my nose. And I put a little bit of bronzer over here. And then a little bit of bronzer over there. And when I say a little, I mean I use a little. I don't use a lot. It is truly just a little. And then I go back in with my foundation brush. And I feel like I did something a little bit darker on this side. Maybe I didn't because it looks the same on that side. I don't know. But at this point, we're going to get what we get. We ain't going to throw a fit because I'm sure we needed to leave at 5 o'clock. And I'm sure I will pass. Hopefully not 5. But I know my limit was 5 o'clock to leave. Because it was going to take us 30 minutes to get to the winery. Okay. And then I have my uh, MAC Chestnut Lip Pencil to do me a little lip. Okay, got that. And then I, oh, you know what? Sometimes I do use this Tarte Shape Tape. So sometimes I will use the Tarte Shape Tape and put it 
on underneath my eyes and kind of blend that in. I don't got time for that today. So, but generally I will use the Tarte Shape Tape um, and blend it in across my eyes to, to light my eyes up a little bit more. Cause they are, they dark. We, it's, it's genetics. It runs in my family. We, we just have dark eyes. So that's just that. So now I'm going to use this uh, in, um, NYX Butter Gloss in the shade BLG 14 Madeline. So and now that I think about it, I should have put this on after the skin dress. So I'm getting on my clothes. But it's too late now. All right. So here is our quick no makeup makeup routine. I'm going to put my clothes on and yeah, we're going to get this, get this night started. All right, so here is our finished look. I had another dress that I was going to wear. I had a green dress that I got from Express that I was going to put on. But I decided that I'm going to wear this instead. So the green dress was shorter and it had like these gold um, buttons on it. It was like a... I, I, they, my my daughter called it a military green dress but anyway so it was shorter and then it had some gold buttons on it so I was going to wear that but I decided with this because it's long and as it gets you know later I know it's going to get colder so I decided to go with this um, instead because it's long for my legs so yeah here is our finished you know look so very nice set from Express. I really, really like. They have it in um, like a winter white also. And then a brown. So, yep, here we are. I mean, this is just beautiful. Love it. It's so comfortable. I don't know if I would say worth the money, but, you know, because <laughs> it was expensive. But, yeah, it, it's, it's nice. It, it, it really flatters the body. So, yeah. About to head out. We are already running behind. So, you know, we about to head out because we already we already running behind. That's all I have to say. <laughs>